Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing the weekend forecast for Scorpio. So thank you all so much for hitting the like button and subscribing. It is super helpful to my channel, and I really do appreciate it. If you would like to view all of the exclusive and extended readings that I post for Scorpios on my Patreon, feel free to check that out in the description box. All right, so let's go ahead and get the next three days for Scorpio. All right, so we have the Three of Pentacles reverse, Seven of Swords, the Lovers reverse, and bottom of the deck is the Fool in reverse. Interesting. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. going on here Scorpio <laughs> for the next three days all right so the main energy here for your weekend is the three of pentacles reverse so you may be feeling like friends co-workers people that you're close to um maybe making something like way harder for you uh we have talking and then the snake so this is somebody who's like an enemy they always want to one up you you don't necessarily trust them i feel like you are waiting for a call or text message um from this person um because i feel like you already know that they're kind of like you know not cooperative they you don't trust this person so this could be business this could be an ex this could be somebody that um you're in a conflict with that hasn't resolved yet now ace of pentacles there is some type of major offer or financial opportunity here but at the same time it seems like it's <laughs> yeah it's like a little blocked but again um this kind of goes along with the reading i did earlier um seems like somebody has something for you but not like the they're not being honest about the full amount of something or the full opportunity of something seven of swords you guys have wedding rings union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise so you could have been in some type of connection that you don't trust now a contract a family situation somebody you were married to what however it resonates but you don't trust this person now this they're in the seven of swords i feel like you've taken time to see who this person really is we have the hangman and the chariot reverse so i feel like you kind of stopped a relationship or stopped something from going forward in the past and i feel like you're going to get some type of final ending with this person uh with the lovers reverse so uh we have coffin endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation um clarifying the lovers reverse so the hermit here i feel like you're gonna spend the next three days kind of like resting and taking care of yourself or not responding to someone's message and i feel like you're gonna be super freaking shocked that um some type of conflict conflict comes to an end now we have the page of swords in the reverse here so i feel like some this person is like looking into looking into how to end a conflict because why they, they're going through some type of tower moment so i've been picking up on that for the past few days for you guys um, so Ten of Pentacles, this person wants to close out some type of conflict, some kind of family situation, some type of financial situation, if they owe you something, um, because they are going through some type of financial warfare right now. King of Cups reverse and the Temperance card here. Bottom of the deck is the Fool in reverse. So you have soulmate, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract, and you also have the butterfly, relationship evolving in the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So what I'm seeing is you're no longer, you're going to get communication that this person no longer is trying to, um, that they can't go forward without making something right or having some type of conversation here. Um, I do feel like a lot of things are going to be addressed with this person here. And I feel like you guys will evolve um, in this connection or relationship or a partnership into the next phase where you both can kind of just move on and also kind of remove the um, untrustworthy, you know, yeah, it's like you're not going to have to defend yourself against this person. Um, there's going to be like a way less conflict when it comes to this person. And I feel like you're going to be able to move forward here. But yeah, that's what I'm getting for the next three days 
um you may get some type of communication but at the same time it ends up ending the situation as soon as it as soon as it begins so let's get some advice yeah ten of swords reverse so that's good so for a lot of you this is happening this weekend let's get some advice for scorpio the devil so yeah this is like um you know kind of continuation of the reading i posted earlier the devil um make sure you triple read any contracts any agreements um, the devil's like the Capricorn card. So this is business. This is like, you know, being super thorough, um, and whatever agreement or whatever contract that you're in with this person. Um, I feel like you're going to continue to be very much on top of whatever, um, you have going on here, um, with this person, but I do see it works out, you know, here in your favor. Um, and a lot of this is going on and starting this weekend. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. Um, I want to do an extended because I want to kind of go through and pull some of my cards to see more about what exactly this is about. So let's go ahead and clarify some of these cards and get some better advice. Okay, so we have greed, pregnancy, and mistress. Interesting. They will be held accountable. We also have Taurus. We have pregnancy here twice. That's interesting. And we also have losing it all. So I'm going to look into each of these cards if you resonate with those and get deeper into um, the story here. And I'm also going to be pulling my Art of War cards as far as... Um, you know, this devil card for the advice. So feel free to join me there um, and the extended on Patreon. It'll be linked below in the description box. But thank you guys so much for hitting the like button, subscribing, and thank you for watching.